All right, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Get On With It World of Zine for the Macintosh. I have not launched this emulator since May 29th, and I am ready to get cracking with the dark side. Last video introduced our new game world. So if you missed out on the cutscene and Dragon Pharaoh's journal entries, then you'll want to flip back in the playlist. The video also gave y'all a choice on which team beatdown I'd be taking with us into Castleview. Well, I have read all the ballots, and I did intend to provide an official tally, but I stopped counting midway through. The vote is overwhelmingly in favor of our zine-slaying heroes. No, seriously. There were five votes for the team from Vertigo, which you could generously interpret into seven votes if you say... I vote for the original team means the Vertigo team, but that option still doesn't fucking win. Let's get this party started. Open. Could be last game. Here is our party. Pork and Beans, Necroloto, Zachary, Kalen, Tiny Shop, and Vic Badshot, with plenty of gold and gems on hand, having just slain Lord Zine and returned from the festivities at Castle Burlock. Ready to get cracking. Follow the road on our way out of Vertigo. Top side is gonna be left behind. Let's go to dark side. Ah, I sense that you are the ones. While gathering herbs in the woods near the edge of the world, I came upon this orb. It was lying in a small crater as though it had fallen a great distance and yet survived the impact. I know this object must be terribly important, but I am not the one to take care of it. Perhaps you could take it to Ellinger in his tower in this town. He will surely know what to do with it. Morgan Beans found a Dragon Pharaoh's Orb. Welcome to Castleview. And different music. For after all, we are in a different game. And remember, you could have come here at any point in time. A pyramid to take us back. And some side rooms. Let's go down here. And pretend like we're gonna search some bushes. Search a bed. Find a broadsword. I definitely have not adjusted inventory. Uh, do I still have the Zine Slayer sword equipped? I absolutely do. Let's take that off. And put the shield back on. I don't anticipate finding anything better. Weapon-wise, for a bit. Armor-wise... It's not impossible. But it will take some doing. We'll find a saber. The heads say no, and I'm inclined to agree. Why, hello there. Goblins. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? You ready for Team Beatdown? Tell you what. You go first. And indeed, you can see their speed even here. The rats near the sewer have stolen my onyx necklace. I can't do anything without my necklace. I must have it back. Please, please, get my necklace back from the rats. Darkseid ramps up the danger in several ways. Monsters having more hit points. Monsters having higher resists. Monsters dealing more damage. Monsters making more attacks. Monsters having more speed. We were comfortably outspeeding most everything in clouds. That's just not going to be the case here in Dark Side. And that really changes how combat goes. I want my necklace. So Nadia here wants a necklace. Rats have absconded with it. If we go to our quests, apparently the sixth mirror is going to remain here. 
And return Nadia's onyx necklace in Castleview at 2719. This is mandatory. We have a sewer entrance over here. So you think you're a cartographer, eh? Solve this test, then. If Acid Pond is north of Alamar's castle, cross out all N's, R's, and A's. If not, cross out all O's, B's, and F's. If the Great Northern Tower is to the east of Lakeside, cross out all S's and D's. If not, cross out all W's, U's, and I's. If Crossroads is to the west of Sprite Forest, cross out all C's, T's, and E's. If not, cross out all Y's and L's. This spells a map location. Are you ready? I hope you got that first segment. It, you might need me to flip back to it, though. And then I'll pull open the map for you. We're not ready yet. So you think Pause the video, take a hey, screenshot of what you need of that hey, text. If acid pound is north of then I'll take the acid time acid to flip through the instructions. Ends, R's, and A's. If not, cross out all O's, B's, and F's. If the great northern and then is I'll the pull open the map side. for you. Cross out all S's and D's. Let me do that while he's just talking right now. If forest, cross out all C's, T's, and E's. If not, cross out all Y's and L's. This spells a map location. Are you ready? Okay, so here's the map of the dark side. You may recognize the locations that were mentioned there, and if not, well, you have as much time as you desire <laughs> to recognize the locations. Feel like I've given enough time to you if you're interested in solving the damn thing. If not, I'll go ahead and get on with it. I am ready. The answer is Sandcaster. Correct! I award you the Cartographer's Challenge Award. 100,000 experience. So, you come right here into Dark Side. New party. Look back behind you. Start going through these rooms. You find this guy. You'll look at your map handout that you have with Dark Side. Because you have that, right? 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 And then you take some time. You cross off some letters. You solve a puzzle. 100,000 experience. Think of how the level curving worked and how much experience we had leaving Vertigo and where we could level up if we had the... how much we could level up if we had the goal to do so. Hold that thought. It's always a pleasure to see other skilled cartographers. Yes, it is always a pleasure. I agree. Already dipped into those rooms, and those are just, like, dead-end areas. Well, dead-end areas and also not giving me anything of, you know, worth and meaning. Lydia's map's here. I will teach anyone cartography for only ten gold. Very cheap to learn. Only ten bucks. Find some robes there. There might have been something uh, under that bed. It doesn't matter. Gotta leave that for the next group of saps. Monsters can't count. Thanks, Rex. Ever want to learn the ways of the woods? I'll teach you the pathfinding skill for 1,500 gold. <laughs> I'm good golder, but thanks a bunch. Ellen here has a great fondness for boots. He absolutely does, Sojo, and I imagine... Uh, I imagine Ellinger sealing his tower. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Has uh, really hampered your business. Fred, have I got a deal for you? For only 1,000 gold, I will sell you this secret treasure map that I discovered during my travels on the dark side. Only one of its kind. What do you say? 
It's only 1,000 gold. I'm in, Joe. Big money. Joe, that's a name you can trust, right? Hey. Hey, my God. <laughs> you Lloyd's beacon out of here. He's too good. Want a job? I'll put you to work for 50 gold a week. No experience necessary. What do you say? I'm good. Go back to being a barbarian in Heroes of Might and Magic, man. Whoop. I'm Jeff. Brother of Jasper. Jasper is in Castleview Jail, falsely accused of stealing a treasure map from Joe, the treasure map salesman. Joe is a crook, but I can't prove it. Maybe you could break Jasper out of the town jail. I'm not strong enough to do it. My brother still languishes in the town jail. I hope it's not too much to ask for you to hurry. So we've got goblins and gremlins milled about here. And uh, Joe has managed to frame Jethro's brother here. Oh, map theft. We're, uh, we're tasked with a jailbreak. There are other things happening here. I am the mouthpiece of Castleview. I have need of powerful adventurers such as yourselves. Castleview's treasury will pay 10,000 gold for ending the Gremlins' mischief in town. Will you take the job? Why, yes, Mayor Snarf Lad. I await word of your success. The Gremlins' reign of terror persists. No gold for you. Whatever, man. Nothing here? Disagree. A chest. Tiny shop. It's zapped by the lock. You doing good, bud? Oh yeah, he's he's great. Nothing here. Let's leave the zone. Fight some more goblins. There's the way out of Castle View. You know, monsters can't spell either. Okay. I'm not going to bother searching through these trees on the off chance they may even have money. I don't care enough. I think we're doing good on that front. Old black magic? Isn't it awful? The queen has been captured by Alamar and turned into a vampire. Now man and monster take up arms against one another like in the old days. It is the beginning of the end. These are the final days. Ruin is upon us. We are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. <laughs> You'll have a hard time finding spells if you don't look for them in the guild. I'll put your name in the guild wall for a mere 50 gold. Sure, Metla. You Though you will have no spells for us. So we should take a look at the decoration in here, right? At the cost of a precious day. Ah, looking for spells? Members only. Members only. You have learned all we can teach you. Spell info, though, can show off what it is they do sell here. A wide variety of options. Keep in mind the double cost. For paladins and archers to buy cleric and sorcerer spells. To soak in some uh, animations. To my recollection, there are no new spells. Not that we can purchase in these guilds anyway. The dark side of Zane. That's enough of that. That's enough atmosphere. And yes, a full day. I don't recall anything of substance or merit being around here. There is a sewer entrance, one of several available to you. Here's the jail. Spring that little buddy. Thanks for freeing me. I knew Jethro would find help. You got it, Jasper. Whack that goblin. Grab another katana. 
And in here... Just make sure I double check them beds. That's that. So, mission complete. Task accomplished. We are skilled. I can teach anyone to stay afloat for 250 gold. That's great. Those are not services we require. But they are most assuredly here, and it's good to have that access to that. Hello? No. What's going on over here? To close all of the chests is quite an accomplishment, but to open them requires intellect most uncommon. Yeah, this area. We'll save this one. We're just milling around Castleview, and there are many other important things to do and see here. Isn't that right, little gabo buddies? And gremlins? You need a key, orc bruh. What did you call me? You need a key, orc bruh. It cycles the music every time. You need a key, orc bruh. It's fucked up, man. You were wise to come to me. The orb you're carrying belongs to the dragon pharaoh. The orb wishes to be reunited with its master. But I sense that it first must be taken to Ellinger, the queen's advisor, as soon as possible. The orb has chosen you to carry out this task. If you fail, I see terrible things happening to the people of Zane. Great, I love it when artifacts choose me to do things. And prophecies. Really, really helps you feel empowered to make choices, right? Anyway, behind us is Ellinger's tower, and we need a key. Orc breath. Dare you talk to pork and beans that way? He's half human. And Madame Orla here, the gypsy. You must take the orb to Ellinger. He is in the tower in this town. The orb indicates this task is most urgent. Number of barbarian and sorceress portraits. Old friends from Heroes Might and Magic Past. Be sure to learn the navigation skill before you walk in the desert. I did not, and learned the hard way how long it can take to get from one side to the other. Talberti, the chimney sweep. Nothing here. It takes at least two pathfinders or mountaineers to travel through the forest and the mountains. Sorry. <laughs> that accent got me. Every city requires a pass to enter since Alamar took over. I know that someone is selling passes to Castleview just outside the city for cheap. Be sure to get one before you try to get back inside the town. This is absolutely true. If you go to Town Portal to a city, you are portaled to outside of the city, not inside of it. And uh, if you don't have a pass, you ain't getting through the front gate. Fucking Alamar, man. We, uh, we got into Alamar's dungeon uh, through the, uh, the access point in Shangri-La, you may recall. That's where we fought the Annihilators. I say the word fight loosely. Though I did show off defeating one, and how much effort that took. The Gremlins sure have ruined this city. Mayor Snarfblad is too nice. We should have executed those little creeps long ago. Give me Jack Nicholson vibes there. Alright. And these folks here at the temple? May we help you? I had no recollection of this screen at all. I, I memory hold their temple here at Dark Side. Hmm. All right. How long has this video gone? No, oh, we felt like it was longer for whatever reason. We got bags of time, I won't break here. See y'all later.
All right. Well, we saw Angel Ellinger's tower. We visited Madame Orla here. We have more foes. Go this way. What? You think you got shit? Pendulum here trying to hypnotize you. I'll save you, viewers. Team Beatdown, here to crush. Goblins and gremlins alike. Anyone else hiding back there? Will we good? Great. I am Getaway, Imperator Primus of the Gremlins. Give me one good reason why I should not command my mighty army to cut your grotesque human heads from your shoulders and hang your eviscerated corpses above my throne for the entertainment of my subjects. At least Getaway recognized that all six of us are humans. That was the, the motivation and drive behind the creation of Team Beatdown, as you may recall at the beginning of the series. One of the cool features Darkseid has is, uh, dialogue branches. Your choices do have an impact. We're not talking Baldur's Gate 3 seismic impact here. But there are meaningful differences. Silence, insect. We are in charge now. I see. Guards, remove this from my court. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Allow me to retort. Noted. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not going to use spells. Well, um, perhaps I can do something about those naughty, naughty branches. We can still talk about this like rational beings, can't we? Hmm. I think Team Beatdown collectively looks at each other and says the time for talking is done. Pork and Beans found Cape. And if we search, we find three energy discs under the late Ghetto Waste throne. We can get Ghetto Waste to give those to us. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll handle that ourselves. What's the cape look like, by the way? It's a platinum cape? Well, hot damn. All right. We uh, already have something that is a definite armor improvement over what we're rocking. I did not even need to go into Ellinger's Tower to find a better option for us. That's good stuff. Some steel scale armor there, by the way, among the other things we find. Let me take a quick look at any accessories we may have found. And then we have our various blades that we have found. We found less things. And I know some of the stuff I already had in my inventory. I haven't paid that much attention. Platinum cape, though, that's pretty good. Hell yeah. Looking at armor class totals, uh, Pork and Beans is definitely the one who's lacking here, so replace that silver cape with a platinum cape. Takes him up to 100 armor class. Ties him with a tiny shop for the most AC. Keep in mind, of course, that we are buffed by various effects. Uh, pork and Beans here has so much AC courtesy of Obsidian armor. Like, the rest of this is irrelevant. It's Obsidian. Good stuff. That leaves uh, us tied here for the next lowest with Necroloto and Zachary. Pretty strong ACs. Alright. Well, that's been resolved. Ah. Hold on, the straggler there. More stragglers. Ah, listeners, allow me to enlighten you. Live on time. Emit no evil. Repel evil as a live leper, lepers repel. Live not on evil. Go now and visit Brother Pip for more enlightenment. All right. Now it's Tenet, the first draw cab monk. 
Pip, you down here, buddy? Ah, listeners, allow me to enlighten you. No word, no bond, row on. No, it is open on one position. Here so long, no loser, eh? Now do I repay a period one. Go now and visit Brother Otto for more enlightenment. Rab just day. Ah, listeners, allow me to enlighten you. The nine men interpret nine men. I nod. He lived as a devil, eh? Oh, who was it I saw? Oh, who? I moan. Live on, oh, evil Naomi. Go now and visit Brother Bob for more enlightenment. Bob? You up here, bud? Oh, listeners, allow me to enlighten you. Eva, can I stab bats in a cave? Was it a rat I saw? Rats live on no evil star. God, a red nugget. A fat egg under a dog. Go now and visit Brother Tinnit for more enlightenment. Will do. Ah, listeners, allow me to enlighten you. Live on time. Emit no evil. Repel evil as a live leper lepers repel. Live not on evil. Go now and visit Brother Pip for more enlightenment. Do you get it? Ah, listeners. Tenet. Oh, listeners. Bob. Oh. Ah, Otto. listeners. Allow me to enlighten you. Ah, and Pip. Allow me to enlighten you. You notice their names as well? Congratulations! I dub thee a member of the Draw Cab. 25,000 experience. We're all members of the Draw Cab ah, now. Listener. Huzzah! Great stuff. We got the tavern in here. We could go, uh, fishing around in there in a little bit. Let's turn this quest in. You have saved Castleview from the wicked <laughs> gremlins. Oh, day. Rab just day. <laughs> here is your goal. No way. <laughs> that had to have just been buried somewhere in my psyche. Like, I... Like, this is not my first time here in Castleview. I... That's... That's funny. Oh. I, uh... I had to memorize Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky uh, for my 7th grade language arts class. I throw it out every now and then, really during live broadcasts. I can do it. I'd get a couple of the words mixed up, I'm certain. We might as well go into it right now, though, as we swim in money and gold. Castleview likes you. Visit any time. We'll do it at the end of the video. Thank you for freeing my brother. Here's a little money for your trouble. If you ever want to know anything about maps, just come to me. I'll help you out. 10,000 experience and 6,500 gold. On top of that... You bought one of Joe's treasure maps? <laughs> Sorry. Here, let me give you a real treasure map. Jethro just exchanges the map for free. Go to E1, X1, Y11. How kind. Twas Brillig and the slithy toes did gyre and jimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogos and the moan rafts outbraid. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub-jub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the maxim foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head... He went galumphing back. This is the part that, uh, I'm pretty sure still tripped me up even back then. Is it, and hast thou slain the Jabberwock, or hast thou slain the Jabberwock? And then is it, come to arms, or come to my arms, my beamish boy? I think it's, hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O frabjuste, kalu kale, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toes did gyre and jimble in the wave. All mimsy where the borough goes in the moan rass outbreak. So yeah, every now and then I throw out an O Fravjus day. And <laughs> just the word Fravjus. Anyway, that's that's some insight into me.
Wonderful. Is it really the end of the video since I did that? I don't know, I changed my mind a whole bunch. Yeah, it's the end of the video. We should get going. Next time. Tavern, blacksmith, training, more gremlins, sewers, fucking sewer levels. Fuck. Ah.